Greetings YouTube, my name is Inquisitor Osama Nobleff, welcome to my channel. Today is Monday, May 18th, 2020, 5.25 p.m. <coughs> Excuse me. It's probably a little a little under an hour since I completed my Let's Play of, well, I'd say about maybe an hour or two since I completed my Let's Play of, uh, Medal of Honor, European Assault. <laughs> I always wonder why the Medal of Honor games didn't have numbered entries. Because yeah, they have Frontline, then they have Rising Sun, and then there's European Assault. Oh well. <clears throat> anyway, it's been a long, long journey. Not, not too long though. I, I actually completed I'm actually going through these Medal of Honor games a lot quicker than I thought I would would have. Not too quick, but I think I've <coughs> I've gone through like four Medal of Honor games in about a week. And that's a good thing. That's a real good thing. Just making some space. <coughs> so hopefully I can knock this game out within maybe a day or two. Definitely a Definitely under three days, I think, because this game supposedly it's a uh, it's one of the shorter Medal of Honor games for the PS2, and I guess we'll just have to see how things go. But uh, yeah, I'm glad that I've been on a sort of a roll these last few weeks. I, I've just been able to knock out let's play after let's play after let's play. Just you know playing. <coughs> And beating and recording games consistently, rather than being rather than rather than being stuck on a single game or let's play for like a week or whatever. That's a good thing as well. What else did I want to say? Yeah, yeah, I've had some trouble. Like I haven't just been rolling through the let's plays, or you know, just I haven't just been like rolling through the let's plays, but. I have been getting really <laughs> un unbelievably frustrated with a lot of these games, you know, on certain levels. But I've been able to just to just knock it out. So anyway, without further delay, let's get started.
call us the All-Americans. The 82nd Division had been around since World War I. That was the first time we went to Europe and kicked the Hun back across the Rhine. But it wasn't until the bombs dropped on Pearl Harbor and Hitler and the Nazis declared war on the United States that this new conflict got big enough to be thought of as a Second World War. That's the first time someone mentioned the 82nd Division might become airborne. They lined us up, asked for volunteers. For an extra 50 bucks a month, we'd be part of a great American experiment in warfare. We'd jump out of airplanes into combat. We'd be the first, the vanguard. We shipped off to Georgia for training, then England, then Operation Torch in Africa, where we got shot at by a bunch of French who seemed to think working with Hitler was a good idea. Then, one day, the brass came out of the briefing tent and gathered their leaders. Then the captains and sergeants got their guys. Within 15 minutes, word had reached every soldier in camp. This was it. Operation Husky. The Americans were fighting Hitler's own. And we were going in first. Get in! 